Ah, it's just a box. The trick is pretty obvious. No way. set that liquor on fire. Let's not waste any more time. I don't think that makes sense. That makes no sense. I have no reason. I don't think... I don't think that... Ah, uh, it's just... No way! I got the box. I don't need to talk to him. I don't need to talk to him. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Excuse me? Do I know you? Of course you do, old friend. I don't think you remember me, though. It's been a long time. So, did you want something? Look, right now I'm a little busy. I'm getting ready for tomorrow's contest. I always want something, Alan. I always do. Hmm. I see you know my name. Are you going to tell me who you are? The name's Hicks. I'm the owner of this hellhole. Oh, that's right. I've heard a lot about you. So, you're taking part in the competition, huh? Mm-hmm. That's right. You don't think you really stand a chance, do you? I know I'm gonna win. I'm a legend. No one can match my skills. <laughs> my new technique goes beyond human limits. What do you mean, beyond human limits? I mean, I can launch one into the stratosphere without hardly breaking a sweat. Do you know anyone else who can do that? Well, uh, maybe Matt in his best years. Huh. I've never heard of this Matt guy, <laughs> but he's no match for me, I assure you. Oh, sure, man. You're the best. And by the way, are you feeling comfy in here? Is there anything I can do for you? Don't worry. I'm just fine. The only thing bothering me a little is the congested atmosphere. What do you mean? Well, I'm sure people like you don't even notice. But this place smells horrible! Well, I know it doesn't smell like a meadow, but you'll get used to it. I don't think so. I've developed a very powerful sense of smell. <laughs> and I know for a fact that the rancid stink in this dungeon will never fade. Good to know. How the hell did you end up in here? Nah, it's all a big conspiracy. Oh, really? By whom? Everybody! Government agencies, secret organizations, security forces, they were all in it together! But why? You're just a loon in a tutu. That's what someone with a mind as weak as yours would think. Anyway, I have no time to explain it all. 
So, long story short, I killed a reptilian and I got caught. I'm just lucky I'm still alive. You don't even know what a reptilian is, do you? Of course I do. They secretly run the world, right? The ones that used to eat mice on TV? Well, kinda. Okay, and what did this reptilian look like? He was kinda fat. And he always wore the same filthy white beater vest. He used to go around pushing this cart and selling balloons. I hate balloons. Hate them. You killed that guy? Oh, come on, man. That guy had suffered enough already with that helium poisoning thing. Don't feel sorry for him. I never got to see his reptilian form, but he was clearly one of them. He had a very high-pitched voice. Too high. I'd say I had to rip him open. The guy squealed like a pig. <laughs> but the high-pitched voice thing was because of the helium. Don't you know what happens if you inhale it? No, nope. and I couldn't care less. He had it coming. And I just helped him on his way, okay? Okay, okay. God, you're quite the vigilante, Alan. So, how come you don't go around yelling your name anymore? Oh, I've never done such a thing. Are you sure? What about your other self? I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you do, Robert, you sick maniac. My name's not Robert. And honestly, if I had a split personality, don't you think I would know about it? Yeah, right. Then why did they lock you up in the psych wing? Because this is all just one big fat conspiracy, OK? People who know the real truth like me are a thorn in the side of those in the higher circles. But I'm telling you, I don't have a split personality. And I just don't go around yelling my name, OK? Oh, of course not. I mean, that would be crazy. Anyway. I have to go. Okay, but watch out for those guys. There's bound to be a couple about who've managed to infiltrate this place. Um, sure. I'll be careful. The iron brightens up any soup. A dash of lucky veggies. Everybody loves the taste of money, right? The soup's not done yet. I don't think that may... Hey, uh, how you doing, Carl? Really good, Mr. Hicks. Trying to enjoy the fact that thanks to this penitentiary institution, I can spend another day laying around and doing nothing. You really know how to live it up, Carl. Thanks for the compliment, Mr. Hicks. I appreciate it. All right, enjoy your rest. I will. Wasting. Let's not waste any. Let's not waste any. So, Murray. Murray, would you say you're a superstitious man? Well, I don't know. Uh, yes and no. What? Murray, are you or aren't you? Well, I don't believe in the paranormal stuff, but. Sometimes, I feel something strange within me. I don't know how to explain. You mean yes? No, that's not it. It's just that, uh, sometimes... 
Knock it off, Murray. I don't care about your stinking gas. All I want to know is if you're one of these guys who has some kind of lucky charm. Sure I do. I have a rabbit's foot. It's always brought me luck. Really? Well, no. But I like having it with me. It's like a part of me. Sure. Why do you ask? Oh, uh, no reason. I guess you don't have anything else on you, right? I never bring valuable stuff to work. It has a habit of just mysteriously vanishing. Vanishing, huh? Hey, Murray, would you like to see a magic trick? I can make anything disappear just like that. Really? I love magic tricks. Perfect. Uh, let me get ready and I'll call you, okay? Oh, you're really gonna love this, Murray. Really. I'll be here, wait. I'm out of here, Murray. I'll see you around. So, are you ready to get your mind blown? I'm always ready for some magic. All right. So, what are you waiting for? Give me your rabbit's foot. Huh? Oh, sure. For the magic trick. Here you go. You need to pay more attention, Murray. Ta-da! Unbelievable! That was absolutely amazing! Uh, where is it? It just vanished! Great job, boy. I knew you'd love that, Murray. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I have to go. What? What do you mean you have to go? Aren't you gonna give me my rabbit's foot back? Oh, that's gone. Gone where? I thought that, uh... Murray, come on. Can't let you behind the curtain. I'll just leave it to your imagination. Oh, uh, okay. See ya. Hey, Mortimer! What do you think you're doing? Now that should teach you not to fuck with Mr. Hicks. of meat, just to add some flavor. Hey, what do you know? I've managed to make a sort of broth out of all this stuff. Not sure it's gonna be lucky or fatal in a very painful way. Eh, anyway, works for me. Sorry, Alan. I just can't allow you to take part in that contest. <laughs> if you win, I won't be able to get any oil. And I'm sorry, I've come too far to lose it to a loon. Ugh, it's over. Well, for the record, he's only unconscious. I hope. And I still have some of this gross fertilizer left. Hey, hey, slow down. You don't want to choke on that horseshoe. Wow, it tastes exactly like the one my grandma used to make. I'm feeling like a tingling in my throat. I think it's kicking in already. I feel my saliva getting thicker. If you say so. Thank you, Hicks. Honestly, I'm the luckiest guy on Earth once again. Uh, you remember you're still in jail, right? That's the least of my concerns right now.
that key to open it. So, Bruno. So, you'll be glad to know that Alan is not a problem anymore. Are you serious? Yes, and I did it with my own two hands. Wow. He won't be attending the competition after what I did to him. In fact, I'm not even sure the guy's still breathing, so problem solved. Hicks, you're full of surprises. So all those rumors about you were true. What rumors? Why won't anybody tell me? Who cares about that? The thing is that you took care of that bastard. Well, my work as a trainer ends here. So it seems. Thanks for everything, coach. You made me the man I once was again. You know, that's not true. You never win anywhere. All I did was remind you that you still and always will be Bruno. I will never forget you, Coach Hicks. Thanks, Bruno. Just one more thing. Yes? I want that fucking oil. <laughs> sure. Here, this is the key to the kitchen cupboard. You'll find the oil in there. Finally. Will you be there to see my victory? Um, no. So long, little bar of soap. A little bit of an acid will give it a nice color. I think this handful of matches will be enough phosphorus for the bomb. But if not, I can always go to my cell and pick up some more. I'm not gonna bother Charlie. He doesn't need this. What he wants is a bomb. Psst, Charlie. Charlie, you there? Holy Ulysses 31, Randall Hicks, you're alive. Yes, I'm alive and to save both of us from a very dull and meaningless conversation. I know all about your escape tunnel. I also know you need some explosives for that wall in Sector 7. Am I right? How the hell do you know all that? Stop reading my mind. Get out of my head! What? Not this again. I hate people getting inside my brains. Relax, Charlie. I just slept on the top bunk and I heard you talking in your sleep. Case closed. Oh, that, that makes sense. Hold on. Are you the famous Mr. Hicks? Well, of course. Randall Hicks. Who did you expect? No way! It can't be you! Well, it is. So you're this prison's Mr. Big? Well, uh, I usually don't put it like that, but oh, what the hell. Yeah, it wasn't easy, but I'm the boss now. Wow. Then should I call you Sir Randall or something? Oh, come on, Charlie. That's just for the little people. You can call me Master, especially since you're gonna get me out of here. What do you mean? Well, we just have to get through the concrete wall, right? And if I can lay my hands on some explosives, I'll be able to join you in your great escape plan, right? Well, yeah, if you want in on the plan, that's okay, but I really doubt you'll be able to find any explosives in here. Ye of little faith, you just wait.
I'm not gonna... A nice dressing will give it a special touch. If this manual is correct, this pot just became a very decent explosive device. Hey, Charlie, you there? So, ready to make some big boom? Where did you get that from? I have resources, Charlie. Although it's been pretty difficult, to be honest. Wow. I always thought you were just this stupid, lazy, hateful, kleptomaniac bastard. But now I realize I was wrong about the lazy thing. Anyway, are you ready to get the hell out of here? I've been ready since I got here. Come on, let's do this. Randy crawled to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Or maybe I just don't want to. 500 yards, the length of eight millennium falcons, just shy of half a mile. When I picture Randy heading west following the subway tracks, it makes me laugh all over again. Randy Hicks, who crawled through a river of shit and came out reeking on the other side. Randall Hicks had gone home. Ah, damn it. I had to leave most of my items behind to escape, but at least I'm a free man now. We're not married or anything. Uh. Ew. Was that an answer? Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I just want to go to bed and get a thousand hours of sleep. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. I swear, the stuff he pulled, it always makes us laugh. Sometimes it makes me sad, though, Randy being gone. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged, that's all. Their feathers are just too bright. And when they fly away, the part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. But still, the place you live is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. I guess I just miss my friend. Magic ring, fuck you. I'm done with this shit. I give up, okay? I'll let someone else do it. I have suffered enough already. I'll just learn to live with this stupid curse. Because one thing's for sure, this can't get much worse. Oh my god, it worked! I'm still a free man! Oh man! This is the happiest day of my life! Woo! Oh, what the f- oh, Come on! Frickin' Armageddon? Are you fucking shitting me? I mean, come on! Oh, perfect. Just perfect. What better way to put an end to this odyssey than the end of the frickin' world? Sulfur rain, lava everywhere, and putrefied corpses as far as the eye can see. Just the way I like it. I guess old Marconi strikes back. Yes, yes, just save it. All right, I'm deaf. I wish you a good day, but I'm sure you have already realized that there's nothing good about it. But, 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 no, no, whoa. Well, what? Are you aware of how much work I have done? And it's all your fault. Hell's gates are overflowing and the paperwork just is piling up. Thanks a lot, chum. But, 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 I, but, 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 I, what are you? 
you're here because of my dream, right? What are you having you talking about? You know, that nightmare I've been having where you come to fix my sink and then you want me to pay with my soul? And how am I supposed to know what you dream of at night? Do you think I'm some sort of pervert who likes to spy on people's dreams? I'm not Father Christmas, you know. Well, fine, then. What's going on here? What do you think? It's the end of the bloody world. So, are you happy now? Me? Why would I be happy? Uh, are you trying to tell me that the person directly responsible for Armageddon is not even aware of what he did? I'm responsible for this? I was just sleeping. Things don't just happen like that. You've altered the space-time continuum far too many times and reality has been torn apart. We are here to reboot the system, you know, start from scratch. What do you mean, we? You know, we, as in me and my brothers. Well, and this character... Hey, man! Death gave me a ride. Matt, you're alive! Yeah? You got some cereal, buddy? It's good to see you, man. It's been such a long time. Sure, dude. So, what happened last night? Did you score with that girl? Uh, what girl? You know, the one from the show? I feel like last Sunday was like a million years ago. <laughs> You're a lightweight, Randall. A couple of beers, and you can't remember what you did the night before. Yeah, well, you know, it's hard to keep up with you, man. Ah, relax. That girl was way out of your league, man. She seemed much more interested in her dog. So, cereal? Sure, but, um, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Although, now that I think of it, you're the one looking a bit weird, you know. People might think you've just broken out of prison with those orange pajamas on. Uh, <clears throat> uh, gentlemen, why don't we leave the slumber party for later? Sorry, Mr. Death. My dear chaps, I've already wasted enough time on you two. You know the Colosseum's not going to fall down by itself. Well, maybe it is, but I have lots to do. Souls to reap, cities to destroy, bodies to scorch, the typical apocalyptic schedule. Basically, exterminate everything and everyone, but you too. Okay, but what do we have to do with all this? Now, he's almost as responsible as you in this matter. You will both wait here until we're done with the apocalypse. Then the IRS will judge you for all the crimes. The IRS? Can I watch some TV? I told you to stop buying nonsense from the shopping channel. Wait, no, please, uh, hold on. I need to ask you a couple of things. Uh, do hurry. My brothers are waiting for me. Then, uh, Matt and I are gonna be the only people left on Earth? Precisely. Ooh, like that episode of The Twilight Zone. You know, the one about the man who loved to read. Oh, the guy that broke his glasses at the end? That's it! Man, what a bummer, right? Kind of a bummer. Unless, of course, he could read Braille. Uh, hmm. I do say hate to be a killjoy, but personally, I'd rather die in the most excruciating, brutal way imaginable than spend even two minutes with those IRS fools. Ha! We survived the DMV. We're made of sterner stuff than you think. Well, uh, we actually burned down the DMV. Duh, but we survived, didn't we? Let's see. I don't know what the IRS has to do with all this, and honestly, I couldn't care less. But you gotta understand, I didn't do anything. I'm the victim of a horrible curse that forces me to relive the same day, over and over. So believe me, if I could fix this situation, I would have done it a long time ago. I just don't know what else I can do. You have to wait here until I'm done exterminating all traces of life on Earth. Okay, okay, hold it, man, hold it. Are you telling me that this guy is actually the Grim Reaper? Why don't you get your face out of the cereal? Who the fuck did you think it was? I don't know, some mental case in a costume. And, uh, you didn't think it was a little bit odd that there's fire and corpses everywhere? Now that you mention it, all of the pieces are kind of falling into place now, but you know me, it's Monday! And it normally takes me at least until Thursday to recover from the weekend. Excuse me, I'm awfully sorry. Have you quite finished yet? Wait a second. Something's not quite right here. Since when does Matt like the shopping channel? 
I have always liked it. Altering reality has consequences. I've just temporarily patched up the problem. You and the chap with the glasses have altered the space-time continuum far too many times. What's altering the space-time continuum? And what does all this have to do with the shopping channel? Everything. Day after day, history is rewritten, and everything needs to be totally coherent. You tried to fix it at first, but you gave up very quickly and focused all your energies on becoming someone important. You forgot about the real issue for many years. That's not true. I was in jail. What the fuck did you expect me to do? It's a miracle I managed to escape. Uh, are you guys talking about a new show or something? Every single day you were inside, I had a date with your little friend here in the glasses. But none of this would have happened but for one small detail. Your chum here's obsession with a certain product range. You guys talking about the shopping channel? You mean the Wondermatic 9000 series, right? Oh, I love it. Precisely. Wondermatic Industries kept on growing and growing for this very specific purpose, to satisfy today's people's needs and to help Matthew Griffin kill himself. Did he just say help Matthew Griffin kill himself? But the real problem came a few months later. If you release a new product every day, you're doomed to run out of ideas very soon, so eventually the shopping channel was full of crazy appliances that no one would ever buy. No one but Matt. Okay, uh, I think I understand the thing about the shopping channel, but Matt looks pretty normal to me. Yeah, he's a little distracted, but compared to the last time I saw him, he looks pretty good. Oh, no, your friend's not an issue anymore. We took care of that. You might not remember a few things, though. Yeah, well, nothing new there. Why are you guys talking about me like I'm not here? I'll be back for you in a couple of hours. Don't you think about me? Wait, but... No buts, the chip has over. I'm already behind shed, thanks. Soon, you'll be the only living beings left on this planet. So, behave. What a pickle, huh? Pickle? I don't know if you've seen the outside, but this is a goddamn apocalypse! Yeah, looks like it. Wonder what happened? You mean you don't know? Dude! Death himself brought you here. Were you not listening to anything we said? Oh, really? You mentioned something about the shopping channel, so I assumed he was trying to sell you something. Ah, oh, god damn it, Matt. We fucked it up. We really fucked it up this time. But how can this all be our fault? How the fuck did we manage to bring about the end of the world? We must have been really, really drunk. Yeah, we were really drunk, uh, but believe me. I'm having the worst hangover in history. I know how you feel, man. And I have the remedy for all your ills. We just need some milk, some cereal, and the shopping channel. You can't imagine the trash you can buy on there. It's amazing. There's nothing better on a holiday morning. It's not a holiday. It's just a Monday. I know, but come on. If Washington's birthday is a holiday, shouldn't the apocalypse be one too? I mean, it's the apocalypse. Well, when you put it like that... See? Let's do it then. All right, well, sit back. Make yourself at home. <laughs>